What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben and today when it comes to watchOS 8.1 we finally have the next beta release which is beta 2. So watchOS 8.1 beta 2 has been released today to developers at least at the time I'm updating this video. If you are a public beta tester this should be available for you tomorrow or the day after. Now for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 you can see the update size that I got here that it's around 270 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 8.1 beta 1. If you're coming from a different up, a version or you're updating a different series you might see a different update size. Now obviously this is not all that Apple released today when it comes to software updates. You can see here on my iPhone that I have the Apple developer page open and you can see that today Apple released macOS Monterey beta 8, iOS 15.1 beta 2 as well as iPad OS 15.1 beta 2, watch OS 8.1 beta 2. Of course, this is the video for this, and also TV OS 15.1 beta 2. All these were released today, and most of these, like iOS and Mac OS, I'm going to be doing videos on them and covering them on the channel. So, if that is something that interests you, since I do a lot of Apple updates, then a sub to the channel would be appreciated. Now, for me, on my my Apple Watch Series 6 that you are seeing here, I've already updated my device from watchOS 8.1 beta 1 to beta 2. So it currently has beta 2 and this is a new uh, photos watch face that I decided to put on for this video since this is the new watch face for the Apple Watch Series 7 that's going to be coming out very soon. If you want me to show you how you can get it, then let me know in the description of this video below. But if we go to see the software changes that came with this update and go to the about this watch, you can see the new build number that we have and it's 19R. 5-1-D. So now we have a build number that ends with a D and on beta 1 previously the build number that we had was 19R5541F. So we went from an F to a D which is a jump of about two steps in the positive direction and that is something that's good. Now when it comes to what's new when it comes to like new features and changes with watchOS 8.1 beta 2 this is more of a bug fix and stability fix update, but some of the changes and uh, new features that I managed to see, they aren't new features, but they are some features that used to be there on watchOS 8 that were previously removed on 8.1 beta 1 that I saw were returned with this update. So the first one here, if we go to YouTube and actually like play any random specific video. So for example, we'll play this one of Messi. And if we go to the Apple Watch here, you can see that the now playing screen has been sort of returned. So in order for you to see the new now playing screen, you can see that you have to tap back. And once you tap back and you swipe up, you'll be able to see that, you know, the media is not playing on the Apple Watch, but it's playing on the iPhone. So you can see here it's playing. And if you want to pause it, you can actually play again on the Apple Watch or pause it like that. And as you can see, it will actually pause and play using this new uh, now playing screen that has been updated and had been removed on watchOS 8.1 beta 1. But now, as you can see here, it has been returned. Now, something else that has been fixed when it comes to this update has to do with the ability to unlock your iPhone was wearing or using your Apple Watch. This is a feature that has been there for some time, but apparently with the new iPhone 13s that were just released, there was an issue with that. And the way you basically find this is go into settings and then go to passcode and face ID and then input your passcode just like that. And if you scroll down, you will see a section that has the name of your Apple Watch and it says Benjamin's Apple Watch. That's my Apple Watch. And you can see it says unlock with Apple Watch. Now, if you have this on and you actually put on a face mask, you can actually be able to lock your device. And when you swipe up to unlock like this, it will tell you that it has unlocked using the Apple Watch since this feature has been enabled. But for some reason on watchOS 0.1, 
beta 1 and iOS 15.1 beta 1 there was an issue with that and this update actually fixes that bug also another thing that has been fixed with this update has to do with the watch uh, changing bug where you would select a watch face and it wouldn't like move it would black out for some seconds and then show the watch face after that there was a bug on watchOS 8.1 beta 1 but on this watchOS 8.1 beta 2 you can see that that bug has been fixed and there's no delay when it comes to like selecting watch faces and so on so it seems to be back to normal and that bug has like been uh, solved in a way so those seems to be like the new changes and resolved issues that are here with this update some of the issues that are not yet here that i'm looking forward to testing once they come uh, or they become available the first one has to do with the ability to have have like your digital vaccine card in your wallet app on the apple watch so just like how when you purchase something from apple and they send you a qr code to be able to pick it up and you go there and you present like this qr code and do your pickup you'll be able to actually do the same when it comes to like covid vaccination card you just be able to uh, present your qr code inside the wallet app which is something that's going to be coming pretty soon but at this time it hasn't yet been mentioned and the code does mention something about it when it comes to ios 15.1 beta 2 and watchOS 8.1 beta 2 since it has to do with the wallet app but it's not fully functional here and also the same is true when it comes to like your digital driver's license it hasn't fully been implemented with this update so perhaps at a later beta or maybe with watchOS 8.2 in the future now when it comes to uh, the new features and changes and what hasn't yet been implemented, those seems to be uh, the changes that are here with watchOS 8.1 beta 2. When it comes to some of the issues that I've experienced myself, sometimes the time takes long to update. So when you lower your risk like this and you raise your risk, you might see that, you know, it, it uh, updates your time once you uh, raise your risk and that has been a bug since beta one so that is still there and then also when it comes to some of the exercises that you might do it's taking longer to implement and some people are mentioning that when it comes to updating their parameters sometimes it shows like different exercises and steps and stands and so on so there could be an issue with that for me so far i wouldn't say i've experienced this drastically it's something to keep an eye on to once you update now when it comes to like battery and performance you can see here if we go to the battery section since i charged so you see that it was last charged to 100 percent about 141 p.m and right now it's about 5 uh, p.m so that's how long i've been using it and right now you can see that i've used about nine percent of charge so not too big of a drop when it comes to uh, the battery that was used uh, used and if we go to the battery health or maximum health capacity you can see that it has dropped i remember this being on 93 percent so after updating it has dropped to 91 which is kind of unfortunate but we have to see See whether this is a bug or is something that is actual since there's always a recalculation with each update that you do now other than that that's how this update came in for me when it comes to watchOS 8.1 beta 2 i would say just hold on a little bit since this can actually have some serious issues like experienced on the mac my mac was almost unusable so i would say maybe wait for some time if there are issues i'll let you know over on my twitter handle and basically when it comes to the release date that we can expect watchOS 8.1 beta 3 to come out since we are now on weekly release cycles so I would say next week on the 5th of October we can look forward to seeing watchOS 8.1 beta 3 and then perhaps sometime mid October we might see watchOS 8.1 being released so sometime mid October to early November that's my rough estimation 
but at this time apple hasn't really confirmed anything now other than that you can see that there isn't a lot that has changed when it comes to watchOS 8.1 beta 2 if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace